season six for the MCC is ending this week. So in this video, I'm gonna give you all the tips and tricks to prepare for season seven to finish out all your challenges and what to look forward to for the next season. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Now, I'm sure many of us are still very excited for the new season of MCC to come out for everybody, myself included, but actually we have a few challenges we need to go through. So I wanted to go and give some tips and tricks on how to complete these quickly, how to prepare yourself for the custom game browser in season seven and all the awesome, great stuff that's coming for us in season seven itself. So you guys like these news and informational kind of videos and want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So with a new season coming around for us guys, that means we get a new set of seasonal challenges, which means season six challenges are gonna have to leave for us as well. So for seasonal challenges that have content tied to them like package deal, double up, and best at both, you're gonna need to grind those up pretty quick. I found with package deal, the thing that's taken me the longest is the non-profit organization, which is a challenge to defeat covenant enemies in PVE modes, earn additional progress for more powerful enemies. Now there's two ways you can go about doing this. There's one way with through firefight for a custom game you can just kind of cheese up like your invisibility unlimited clip and stuff like that and just go to town on the firefight or you can just play through your pve challenges most likely there's some kind of campaign mission that's tied to some kind of thing you can just play through that so you kind of double up on that you have the double up challenge which is the completion of two challenges of spree real estate and 30 challenges again if you've just been playing mcc multiplayer you'll most likely be getting this rather easily the other challenge you're really going to want to grind up for guys is the best apple to get you that sword and board the hardest one on this one is the ranked beats everything challenge where you have to win 25 ranked matches in the MCC. And I find that the hardest part about doing this challenge is really just finding matches. What I did is I grinded my way through the Team Slayer playlist in Halo 3, that's ranked and seemed to get me just fine. I've also heard you being able to find matches in the Halo 2 Anniversary rank because it's in the rotational playlist, so that could work as well. Now an interesting thing when I was looking at the exchange, if you look at it right over here guys, that there is nothing listed right here so it looks like we might be getting some new items specifically for the exchange kind of like what we saw with like the black rhine skin that we have for various weapons as well and also we're probably gonna get a new armor set tied to this maybe like some elite armor set maybe even a champion's bundle armor set being locked into the feature item now everyone who grinded out their challenges and content i'd be thinking well season seven it's just gonna be put into exchange i don't want to see that well there's a quote from 343 in the previous development update who clarifies that stating here that no ranked rewards will be offered in the exchange in season six this is talking about before the release of season six and any former challenge items will sit out for at least a full season before entering the exchange rotation meaning any kind of content that you grinded out for in season six will not be thrown into the exchange for season seven it'll wait out a full season and then get added into the next seasonal exchange for say for this one season eight now another thing to prepare for for season seven is the custom game browser launching which is a highly anticipated feature i'm gonna be using it a ton as well so if you want to play the custom game browser well you're probably going to need to download some custom games now i believe that the console version of mcc actually has a file browser which makes things a lot easier but for us pc players it's a little more difficult so i wanted to showcase the process of how to find custom maps and modes so the way to find custom games within the mcc on pc is what you have to find the specific players on their file shares that might have some games you might want to download so now many of my friends don't really play a whole lot of custom games but i know some youtubers do say like i spiteful so i'm sure he has a lot of custom games on his file browser right so what i need to do is click on the little person icon up here uh, click on my name and I go find player i'll type in i spiteful and then you go to file share right here and then you go to either your map or game modes you want to download so say you want to check out some map variants you might have so it's like that and this is a list of a ton of different kind of custom games that he has in his file share that you can just download right there and obviously there's gonna be some maps that are gonna require specific modes so obviously you can go to the game types right here it's like that and that's where all the game modes for specific types of maps are there as well. Now, I've received this question a lot that yes, I will be doing some custom game nights. I'm sure there will be actually some challenges tied to getting people to play the custom game browser as well. well. We'll let you guys know as soon as that drops on this channel. But the best time to catch some custom game nights with me is to follow me on my Twitch channel. Link in the description down below. We do stream every Tuesday and Thursday night. And with the addition of the custom game browser, 
I mean, it's going to make it a lot easier to throw some custom game nights, so I'm really looking forward to hanging out and playing some games with you guys. Also, if you ever have any questions or just want to chat with me, that's the best time to do it as well. Now, friendly reminder for Season 7 that also keep in mind that every season that the mid-season saves and your theater clips will be corrupted. So if you're stuck on a mission right now that you need to complete, you need to do that now. And if you have any clips that you want to save on your file share or something like that, you're going to need to download that in some way or another. Now, it sounds terrible, but it's uh, what happens every se new season. So just a little heads up for you guys. And just for a friendly reminder of everything that's coming with Season 7, there's a ton of extra stuff, guys. So we have the new map Edge coming to Halo 3. We have performance improvements to Waterfall, because I know a lot of people on Xbox One have really struggled to maintain 60 frames or even like 40 frames on that map. And we also have the Halo Infinite inspired Mark 7 helmet coming into Halo 4 as well. Talking about Halo 4 customization, we have the Champions bundle being added in there as well, which is a brand new set of armors that you can customize for yourself right there. There. You also have armor effects coming within Halo 4. You have the elite armor set for Halo 3, sword customization for Halo 3. Of course, like we mentioned earlier, the custom game browser, which can be a huge new feature. Graphical update for Halo Combat Evolved. So the game's gonna be looking much more true to the original art style that we saw within Combat Evolved back on way then, back in 2001 for the original Xbox. We also have Firefight being added to the match composer. So now you can kind of mix and match your Halo 3 ODST and Reach Firefight experiences. And this was just announced is that there's going to be new mod tools for the MCC. Stated in the recent development update saying new mod tools, as part of Season 7, we will have a new set of mod tools that will become available to players over on Steam. We are targeting to have some additional information out next week, which was, this was uploaded on Friday in a basic overview that dives into what they are and how you can use them. Keep your eyes peeled for that drop next week. And of course, as soon as that information drops, guys, I will cover it all on this channel. Also, keep in mind that we will be doing a launch night live stream on my Twitch channel, guys. Link in the description and in the pinned comment as well. That's will be a great time for you to come in to play some custom games with us, as we'll definitely will be testing out the custom game browser. We'll also, we'll be doing a good time of just hanging out, answering questions. If you guys have any time you want to play with me or ask any questions, that's the best time to do it, because whenever I'm playing Halo, I'm most likely streaming it. So if you guys ever want to come by, that's the time to do it. So if you've been out of the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, or missed any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here. I've got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.